Sudan, a vast area covering 1.8 million square kilometers to the south of Egypt. Endowed with rich natural resources, the country has great potential but remains one of the least developed in the world. Two decades of civil unrest and the loss of oil revenues have destabilized the country, its economy and the well-being of its population. Economic opportunities are limited, and many struggle to maintain a living. In the Red Sea state, increasing desertification of the land makes traditional subsistence farming difficult. Fishing is regarded as a promising alternative. It has the potential to contribute to national food security, job creation, and exports. In recent decades, exports of fish from developing countries have increased continuously. They are now higher than those for rice, coffee, or tea. But this impressive growth came at a high price. Over-exploitation now poses a severe threat to marine biodiversity. Aware of the importance of a sustainable approach, UNIDO, Norway, and Sudan's Marine Fisheries Administration teamed up to undertake the very first fish resource survey in the Red Sea. Norway is very pleased to be working with the government of Sudan and UNIDO on this project to map fisheries resources and to help harvest them in a sustainable manner. Sustainable manner means a manner which retains the stocks of fish, does not overfish, but ensures that there is fish for future generations. Here in Port Sudan, Dr. Eric Olsen, Christian Susan and Asbjörn Arzen are in charge of the Norwegian-funded survey, which is conducted together with 45 local fishermen. It is the first time that Sudanese fishermen have the opportunity for an exchange with Norwegian resource mapping experts. On both sides, expectations are high. We are uh, using the same fishing ground which we, our grandfather is using. Uh, no enough fish there. The size of the fish is small. So due to all these reasons, we cannot get enough money for uh, even the basic needed needs uh, for life. Galeani was chosen to participate in the survey on board of the Don Questo, which serves as a scientific vessel. For one month, crew, local fishermen, and scientists work, eat, and live side by side. Every 10 days, the crew changes, and 14 new national counterparts come on board. This allows for a high number of trainees and ensures that in the future, Sudan's Marine Fisheries Administration will have the necessary skills to conduct small surveys on its own. The fish resources along the coast are underutilized, but in order to know what can be utilized more, we need good knowledge about how much are there of the different species of fish, where are they distributed, how available are they for fisheries. The survey is conducted along the coastline, and Aspian is embarking with a small team to set traps. The trips are used as training sessions. Everyone is involved in every step of the process. Traps are prepared with bait and dropped. The depth and location of the traps are precisely recorded. The next morning, Aspian and his crew return and the traps are lifted. The catch is put into numbered tubs, which will later help with the identification. A variety of different fishing methods are used, and Galeani learns how to use gill nets and long lines with multiple hooks. The modern fishing techniques used in the survey will help increase the livelihood of simple fishermen. What we're doing during the survey is to try out innovative fishing gear. Fishing gear which is not yet known to artisanal fishermen and which will be required by artisanal fishermen to increase their catches to come up from a 
merely artisanal fishery to a semi-industrial fishery, which means that they can maintain quality standards, that a cooling chain can be observed, that the products they gain can not only be fit for the local market, but that the quality is sufficient that also export can be targeted. Back on board the Don Questo, all fish are sorted, weighed and closely examined. The crew determines the size, sex and maturity of the fish and learns how to identify species. Everything is catalogued so the biomass of the main fish resources of the area surveyed can be assessed. Day by day, more data is gathered, an international crew working hand in hand. Eventually, the data will help scale the development of Sudan's fisheries to sustainable levels. I've been all my life a fisherman, but on those a few days with this team of survey, I learned something new totally about the fish, which i never been knowing before. And uh, it's not only that we have to catch a fish, also we have to take care of the environment of the, of the sea. We have to learn how we can deal with the coral, how we, where we drop our hunker, where we drop our net. It's all aspects, we have to learn it. And I think with the help of everybody, we are going to get through, inshallah.